the question was, to, did I ever think I would worry about her not having a breast or find her sexually attractive? That thought never entered my mind. A silly question. Um, <laughs> it's just, I mean, my wife is more than her boobs, <laughs> pardon me. Um, missing one of them wasn't going to uh, change who Brenda was. Never occurred to me. I recognize that, that uh, a lot of men may dwell on that, um, but, but you know, I, I, I would say to those men, this isn't about you, and this isn't about your petty worries or fears or um, your um, sex drive, okay? Um, it, it's, about, it's about your wife. Your wife's been diagnosed with cancer, and she is, she's scared, she's sick, and she may die. So you need to get over your, what, what, what is important to you and think about what's important to her. It, it's not about you, it's about your wife. It's about the cancer victim. That's the, uh, the most important thing. Everything else pales into insignificance. I, I guess, uh, I, I don't know, I'd, Probably from my dad, who had been dead, I think, uh, six or seven years at that time. I, I just, I, I thought about uh, how he would have handled this, how he did handle things in, in his life. And um, it, it's just, it's not about, not about you. It's about the uh, people that need your help. I was, and to some extent probably still am, that, uh, angry that um, my wife had to go through this. Um, I'm kind of uh, smoked about that. Um, I, I say that, and yet at the same time, I mean, I was on my, on my knees every day during this thing saying, you know, not my will but thine be done, but in case you're wondering, my will is that uh, you, you pull her through this thing with flying colors.